for me, this is actually a real life example. So I'm a private label manufacturer. We have 767 SKUs, 3,000 listings across 20 channels. Amazon doesn't allow you in the TOS to actually directly market to your customers. I'm sure everyone's aware of this. It's Amazon's customer at the end of the day. Even though you sell on Amazon and you give them a product, it's still Amazon's customer. So this is a case in point of something that we've been, we've been utilizing. Uh, in every package, we're putting an awesome uh, elite warranty program. And so they go into the, into the return program as well, and we, they have an option here to actually return the item, it's all automated. So it's hands-off return processing. So how it works is it's just completely automated. They put in their information, they get a return label directly off of our platform. And we do it for every channel, so it alleviates our customer support team of having to do the grind of emailing and emailing returns. I think it just offers a more delightful experience. I use, I'm a avid user of Upwork, which is an outsourcing platform. It's almost like a brokerage. We have outsourced our entire operation, except for two high value employees here in the United States. And so one of those things that we've outsourced is Amazon customer support, ticketing. And so there's two ways you can actually, you can post a job on Upwork. But since this is a Nugget presentation, it's quite fascinating. In the top of this Upwork post, instead of finding freelancers, you can find jobs. So if you type in Amazon customer support, you can actually see what other people are advertising on Amazon. Right? Your competitors or people that you're collaborating with on Amazon. But to go one step further, actually once you click that listing, you can actually dive deeper into it and you can actually see what other posts that people are posting on Upwork. And it really gives you a lot of ideas of what you can be outsourcing or what are activities and tasks that others are doing that you're not doing in your business today. It's a really, really important nugget. Another thing that we do to automate is can responses. So we heavily rely on can responses to create a template for our customer support team to come in and respond to emails. Because I'm doing FBA and I'm doing Merchant Fulfilled. I'm mean, still very heavy Merchant Fulfilled uh, because we do a lot of kitting and bundling and variations because I just want to take up as much real estate space as I can in e-commerce. One of the other things I think I forgot to mention was that we do if-then statements. So we can pick a SKU, uh, we can pick a SKU and say, if it's this SKU, then we want to use this packing slip because we still do a lot of merchant fulfilled. And in the packing slip, we can say, uh, oh, by the way, make sure you lift the clip on the vacuum filter and inject it this way, and that helps with prevention. And if, by the way, if you have any issues or questions, please feel free to reach out to us. So we try to make it very friendly. Another thing that we're doing internally is we're doing pay on use returns. So a lot of times when you send somebody a return label, you pay for it, it's $4 and it just sits in their house collecting dust and they never actually go to return the product and Amazon, you still give them their money back on Amazon. So we do pay on use returns, which means you only pay for the return label once it's actually injected into the postage system. This is a warranty program that we offer. The same insert on the return card that I was just referring to. And we have an elite program where they can actually join a program and get the warranty benefits of the program. And so, I mean, I think it's a beautiful card. It also delights the customer. And on top of that, it allows us to, and this is what the landing page looks like. So this is also done through Shopify. Uh, and so they join the club. They get access to our warranty program. Now, it's very, very top secret, this club. Now we bring them into a email nurturing campaign exclusively for the warranty program, which is in line with Amazon's TOS. Right? So I'm not encouraging people to violate the TOS, I'm just saying that if you're a private label seller, you could have a warranty program, or if you're a brand out there right now, you can actually create a warranty program and it allows you to sort of access the customer in a very uh, easy, easy way. On top of that, a lot of the customers that buy from us, it's easier to open the wallet on the second round, right? The, the first purchase is always the hardest, right? Especially if you're dealing in a, in a commodity industry like the filter industry, where you have a lot of choices and everyone's very price driven. But once you actually can get an idea of the customer and what they bought, you can remarket to them and dip back into their wallet and also nurture it because if you have to replace your, if you're selling a replenishable product, you can replace it every three months or every six months.